Welcome to another Control Hobbies video tutorial. This video will show you how to use and set up flight phases on your Grapner radio. We will also discuss phase trims and show you how to set up no delay channels if needed. We will also show how to use the direct adjust function for real-time in-flight fine-tuning of your phase trims. Before setting up flight phases, we recommend that you have already set up your model in the base menu and verified proper control surface operation. Flight phase settings are accessed from the Function Menu tab. Depending on the model type, the available options on the Function Menu may look different for each type. We will use a previously created airplane with two ailerons and two flaps configurations for this tutorial. Tap on the Phase Set icon to access the menu. The default phase is normal, and unless other phases are created, it will always be the active phase. To create a new phase, tap on any number on the phase priority column, which brings up the bottom toolbar, and tap the plus sign. A list of suggested flight phase names is shown, which you can select by tapping on the phase name. You can always rename them or select an empty phase name and name it to your liking. Let us create two phases, launch and landing. Before we continue, let us have a look at all the options available that can assist you with creating and managing your phases. The Flight Phase Toolbar is accessed by tapping on the Phase Priority column and provides several options to manage your phases. Tapping on the plus sign adds a phase, while tapping on the Trashcan icon will delete it. Tapping on the duplicate icon will copy all current phase settings to another phase. This can save you time and eliminate mistakes when setting up additional phases. Tapping the up and down arrows will move the phase to a different priority on the list. The highest numbered phase has a higher priority over all other phases. Tapping the reset icon will reset all values and settings made in the active phase. This will reset all the settings made in any function or mixes menu, allowing you to start with a clean phase. The pencil icon allows you to rename the phase. Tap on the icon to bring up the keyboard. A flight phase can be activated in several ways. The most common way is by using a switch that you can assign to the phase on the control column. You can also activate a fight phase using the many switch types the Grapner radio has, such as control, logical, combi, digital, mixer, sequencer, and sensor switches. If you want to know more about the different switch types, make sure to watch our switches and more video. We will assign a single switch to control all three phases for this tutorial. Tap on the control of the launch phase, which will bring up the Select Input Control dialog. Toggle the switch or control you would like to use, which brings up the Switch Configuration dialog. We will use switch SW1 and set it to ON in the upper position, which activates the phase when the switch is away from us. We will do the same for the landing phase and set it to ON in the lower position, which activates the phase when the switch is towards us. After assigning the switches to each phase, you can test the phase switching by toggling the phase switch and watching the phase changes. If needed, you can add a delay which determines how long it will take before the phase becomes fully active. For example, if you switch from the launch phase, where you had offsets on your control surfaces, to the normal phase, you may need a smoother transition between the phases so that the airplane will continue to fly in its current flight path. Let's enter 2 seconds for the transition from launch to normal. The next column determines if each phase will have a voice announcement when activated. If you selected a phase name from the default list, the corresponding voice announcements are automatically installed and activated with the voice box checked. The Graupner radio comes with hundreds of ready-made voices that are conveniently categorized. You can use them for any type of notification or use our TTS utility to make your own voices. If you would like to change the voice, tap on the voice file name to access the file manager and select your new voice. We will check the voice column for the normal phase and check our phases with all the active voices. Launch. Landing. Normal. The motor column will determine whether the motor will be active in the current phase. This can be useful for sailplane pilots who need to disable the motor during certain phases of the flight. Setting up flight phases is very easy on the Grapner radio. 
It provides a range of tools to manage and enhance your flight phases, which can be easily expanded with your own customizations. Now that we have created our flight phases, you may want to try different settings for each flight phase. A good place to start is in the Phase Trim menu. You can also explore other menus which you can control with flight phases. Tap on the Phase Trim menu to enter the Phase Trim setting. Depending on how you set up your model, the Phase Trim menu will have entries for your primary control surfaces where you can have different surface deflections for each flight phase. For example, sailplane pilots can set their camber settings for each control surface, or jet pilots can add aileron up deflections during landing to reduce speed. By default, all phase trims are flight phase dependent. You can confirm this in the group column. To change the flight phase for a control or mix to global, tap on the group icon and change the mode. When set the global, it will retain the same value or setting and will not change when transitioning between flight phases. In the next step we will enter a trim offset value for our ailerons during the launch phase. Tap on the aileron field to select it, and then tap on the trim field. We will enter a value of 30, which should slightly deflect both ailerons when the phase is active. You can verify the settings in the servo view menu. Press the servo view short key to verify the settings and change the phase to confirm that Landing. the setting is exclusive for the launch phase. In some cases, we still need to make changes to the phase trim settings to find the optimal value for that flight phase. The Graupner radio lets you do that in real time during by using the direct adjust option, which is available in almost any of the programming menus on the radio. Direct adjust is a very powerful function that allows you to make real-time changes to further influence most settings and data points like in a curve during flight. Whenever the bottom toolbar is active, you will notice the direct adjust icon. Tap on the icon to add a new direct adjust entry. To make changes to the trim values, we need to assign a control which we can use during flight. Tap on the control field and assign for example LV2 by moving the lever to record LV2 in the input control dialog. Next, you will need to set the minimal and maximal values you want the control to influence during the flight. Make sure that those values are as close to what you believe the settings should be. When the sound box is checked, the values of the control positions will be announced with each control movement. When finished, tap on the direct adjust icon to return to the phase trim menu. You will notice a small red triangle in the upper right corner of the trim value field, which indicates that there is a direct adjust function associated with that field. During flight, you will make small control adjustments until you find the optimal value for your trim for the current flight phase. After landing, you can fix that value in the trim field and remove or disable the direct adjust control as it won't be needed anymore, knowing that your phase trim is now optimized for that phase. Setting up phase trims is very straightforward with a Grapner radio. The ability to also do this in real time, during the flight, makes fine-tuning your model easy and fast. If you use delays in your phases, when switching between phases, there may be situations where you would like to exclude certain control surfaces from being delayed. This can be set in the No Delay Channel menu. For example, a sailplane when in landing mode is using both flaps and ailerons in a butterfly configuration to slow down the landing approach. By adding a phase delay, we can have a more gradual deployment of the control surfaces so that the airplane can better adjust to attitude changes. There may be situations where we would for example, have the ailerons take their landing trim position without delay, while the flaps continue their deployment as set by the phase delay. This can be accomplished by checking the no delay box which enables the ailerons to go to their trim position before the end of the delay. This concludes the flight phases tutorial for your Grapner radio. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us.